Good morning. This is Agashvani Kohima. The morning news read by Jonas Siantan. India and Poland have decided to transform their relationship into a strategic partnership. Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced this during the press statement after the delegation-level talks with his Polish counterpart Donald Tusk in Warsaw yesterday. Modi said that this year both nations are celebrating the 70th anniversary of the diplomatic relations. He said India-Poland relations are based on shared values such as democracy and the rule of law. Modi said in January 2025, Poland will assume the presidency of the European Union. He expressed confidence that Poland's support will strengthen the relations between India and the EU. Prime Minister Modi will reach Kyiv today on the second and final leg of his two-nation tour to Poland and Ukraine. Modi is visiting Ukraine at the invitation of President Volodymyr Zelensky. Information and Broadcasting Minister Ashwini Vaishnav launched Create in India Challenge Season 1 in New Delhi yesterday in a run-up to the World Audiovisual and Entertainment Summit. Speaking on the occasion, Vaishnav said that reflecting the evolution of the Indian economy and the impact of technological advancements, 25 challenges have been launched. He said the media and entertainment industry has also evolved significantly, boosting the greater economy. The National Vector-Borne Disease Control Program concluded a two-day state review meeting at Gohima yesterday. Principal Director of Health and Family Welfare, Dr. E. Mozadang Button, highlighted the near elimination of malaria in many districts but cautioned against complacency. While appreciating the staff of their efforts in controlling dengue fever, Dr. Button urged them to be more vigilant with the onset of the monsoon season. Joint Director and SPO of National Vector Bone Disease Control Program, Dr. Nisako Gere, informed that as of 2023, all districts had an annual parasite incidence of less than one. However, he expressed concern over the annual blood examination rate, which fell short of the national target of 10%. Dr. Gere informed that no cases of Kalazar or Filarasis had been detected. However, suspect for potential rise of undetected chikungunya cases in the state due to low sample collection for testing. To this, Dr. Gere advised DVPOs to alert medical officers if they suspect any symptoms of chikungunya and to collect samples for testing in Kohima and Dimapu. He also reported a significant decrease in malaria cases from 113 in 2018 to 6 so far in 2024 and a reduction in dengue cases from 4,943 in 2023 to 11 this year. For acute encephalitis syndrome, 19 cases were reported in 2023 compared to 8 this year. Dr. Kerry recommended improving blood slide collection, enhancing MPER across all districts and ensuring quality monitoring. Startup Nagaland, in partnership with the Department of Industries and Commerce, hosted a roundtable discussion yesterday at the Innovation and Incubation Space, Kohima. Officials from the Austrian Embassy, state government representatives, industry stakeholders and local startups came together to explore potential partnerships aimed at bolstering Nagaland's startup ecosystem. Head of Technology and Innovation at the Austrian Embassy's Commercial Section, Ajay Singh and Arun Verma, advisor on organizational matters at Vantage Info, Secretary to the Department of Industries and Commerce, Nagaland, Shanava C, Director of Industries and Commerce, P. Dokuka Sema, and representatives from various key stakeholders and startups from the state attended the meeting. Speaking at a round table, Shanavas emphasized the critical role of international partnerships in nurturing the startup ecosystem in Nagaland and highlighted the state's commitment to fostering a vibrant entrepreneurial environment. The Austrian officials commended the state for its efforts in fostering a vibrant startup culture and assured their commitment to supporting the region's economic development through sustained partnerships. The Austrian Embassy's commercial section is visiting Nogalin as part of a broader fact-finding mission to explore the entrepreneurial ecosystem in Northeast India. 
and the first National Space Day is being celebrated across the country today. President Draupadi Momo will inaugurate the main function, which will be held at Parat Mandapam in New Delhi. The theme for this year's celebration is Touching Lives While Touching the Moon, India's Space Saga, which emphasizes the profound impact of space exploration on society and technology. On the occasion of National Space Day, the President will honor the winners of Robotics Challenge and Paradia Andariksh Hekaton. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.